Lord forgive me for this trap shit. Sergeant Smack making backflip. Telly Hank it with the action. With the vital speaking Spanish. Frank Matthews, how I vanish. Poof. Came back like I'm King Tut. Gold BBS is on a beamer. When Fat Cat was tearing queens up. Fall off the prop and not the re up. Fly like Puerto Rican Jesus. Uptown like I'm Baby Man. Just caught a touchdown. Philadelphia police arrested this man accused of five murders between 2011 and 2017. 29 year old Michael Blackston is charged with murder, conspiracy to commit murder, and other charges. Police say he fatally shot three men in 2011 and two more in 2017. This is a developing story. We will continue to update you with any new information. Katie Johnston, CBS Philly. In other news tonight, Philadelphia police say they've solved five cold case murders with the arrest of one man over the weekend. Action News reporter Chris Gilletto live at police headquarters tonight. And Chris, you spoke to some of the victim's family members, huh? That's right, Rick. And for some of these families, it's been eight years of not knowing who did it. Now, many of them say this doesn't necessarily bring closure, but it does mean one step closer to justice. And I heard some um, some noises that sounded like firecrackers. Tracy Goldstein Jackson remembers July 1st, 2011, like it was yesterday when her 22 year old son was gunned down in their Germantown home. We went downstairs and the front door was cracked open and my son was laying there in a pool of blood. Over the weekend, authorities arrested Michael Blackston with Gary Wilson's murder and four separate murders between 2011 and 2017. The alleged serial killer was already in jail for a sixth murder that happened in December 2011 when he was linked to these new crimes. I just, I must stop crying. I just bust out crying. I, you know, I don't know how to feel because you just wouldn't think that the person that murdered your son was responsible for killing all those other people. A sense of relief a little bit, I want to say, but it's like I still can't get get him back. My son still doesn't have a dad. Detectives say Blackston is also behind the September 2017 murder of Michael Cousset, who was gunned down in North Philadelphia. And it's just like, why? I just want to know why. Like, and what did you gain from doing it? Detectives have not revealed how they connected Blackston to these additional murders, nor if he used the same weapon in each case. But it's one step closer to justice for these families who can now point a name and face to their loved one's killer. And I have not forgiven him, and maybe one day I will, but I don't forgive him for what he's did to me and my family. I just hope he gets help for whatever problem he has in his head. Yeah, emotional news, obviously, for these families who are still trying to process everything. Now, Bloxon's attorney says that he learned of these new crimes early this morning and is still trying to process each case. Live here at police headquarters, Christy Aletto for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Shari? Yeah, it's just remarkable to think so much is connected to this one person. Okay, Christy, thank you. Yo, yo, we back. It's your boy Pop a lot. Mob, mob, mob. We on our way to Pennsylvania with it. Philadelphia to be exact. Nice town to be more exact. Now, everybody from Nice Town, y'all get in the comment box. Don't sound too nice around this motherfucker. Now, today we are going to be covering a guy by the name of Michael Blackston. Not that one, because it don't sound like bro telling too many jokes, though. Now, I'm going to use this time to say that Philadelphia was probably the most grimy city in the year of 2021. They had upwards of 500 murders, but that goes far back. It didn't just start in 2021, and Michael Blackston is going to be a prime example of why not. Now, Michael Blackston was arrested back in 2019 for a murder charge, and while being held on that murder charge, authorities would connect him to upwards of five separate murders that were considered cold cases 
that started in 2011 and supposedly ended in 2017. What we're not going to talk about is how he was able to evade those murders for eight years on top of how many other victims there might be. But the murders supposedly started on June 28th of 2011 with the murder of a 26-year-old guy by the name of Salim Garland. And he was killed in the 1700 block of West Juanita Street. It wouldn't be long after that really three days on July 1st of 2011 when a 22 year old by the name of Gary Wilson was gunned down on the 500 block of Wade Street. It wouldn't even be to the end of July when the next murder would occur which would be on July 30th 2011. That's when a 22 year old by the name of Kristen Freeman was shot on the 100 block of East Garfield Street and he would go on to die the next day. Now that killing would be very, very, very important. And we're gonna kind of touch bases on that because it will come back to haunt him in 2022. But if you just kind of look at everything we talked about within the span of almost a month or less than a month, he committed a triple. Now, according to authorities, it would be more than five years before the next murder would occur. And that would be on September 10th, 2017, with a 20-year-old by the name of Brandon Vincent was shot and killed on the 2100 block of Chelton Avenue. And within that same month, with about two to three weeks later, on September 22nd, 2017, another 20-year-old by the name of Michael Corsett was gunned down on the 2500 block of North 17th Street. Now, not sure how police would go on to connect him to those five murders that we mentioned. According to NBC 10 Philadelphia, he was being jailed and held without bail since September 2018 for a murder that occurred back in 2011. Now, earlier I spoke about how the murder on July 30th of Kristen Freeman was very important. And the importance of that is kind of crazy in a sense because the murder that he was being held on in 2011 was actually the murder of a guy by the name of Kevin Drinks. Now, Kevin Drinks ties into the situation because he was murdered because he was believed to be a witness in the murder of Kristen Freeman. And he was set to testify in that case, supposedly. Now, the murder of Kevin Drinks will go unsolved until 2017, and that's going to be where police detectives were investigating a separate case and listening to coded conversations from a prison, which implicated four people in the killing of Drinks. And they're going to say what they were discussing over and over again was the description of the witness, where he worked, what kind of car he drove, and they were formulating a plot to kill him. And the plot would come to fruition in December. They would end up going on trial for that murder in 2022. And Blackston and two of the other co-defendants would be sentenced to life in prison just for that particular murder of Kevin Drinks. And a third co-defendant was convicted of third degree murder. And he's likely to face a 30 piece. So with all that being said, the one thing I'm thinking is we know Philadelphia has the death penalty because Cool C had a couple stays of his execution. Is he going to be a likely candidate for the death penalty? And are any more murders going to pop up surrounding him? Y'all get in the comment box and y'all let me know. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Popola. Y'all follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, P-O-P underscore A underscore L-O-T. Y'all make sure y'all hit the red subscribe button right under this video so y'all know when this real trill spill shit is dropping. And y'all let me know what cities we need to go to, who we haven't covered, what cases we missed, all of that good shit. And y'all get at me by any means necessary. Shout out to Nice Town. Y'all been very hospitable. Y'all rolled out the red carpet. We will be back soon. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy Popular. Mob, mob, mob.